Okay, so I've had this for a while. I've had UX sent me this pedal. Boss sent me the um, RE202. Obviously, I've got the line six. So I wanted to do like a little bit of a, a shoot out of the new X tape echo, the Boss RE202, and the Helix Bass Echo, just to see how they stack up. Um, first comparison, I guess we could do would be the reverb. Um, so you see on the new X and on the boss you've got a reverb here so if we max that So that's uh, a bit longer than a spring, I'd say. You've got some ability there to be quite ambient. I really like that reverb actually here, which is like an emulation of the spring. You can go in and change what those are, but let's, so we'll take this off now, I think, and I'm gonna set the time kind of halfway. What is that saying now? 124, make it so our first head is 150. Now, we've got no heads in at the moment, as far as I can tell. Then... First head. So those are a bit... So we're now at 200 milliseconds, so I'm going to loop something around. So other heads, right, what have we got? We've got one head, middle head, third head, two, last two. So I think those are all the options that you'd have on the others. So I just now want to put in a comparison, but I'm really digging the way that sounds, I think. Um, you know, it's not an expensive pedal, but...
got the increased ability to edit stuff and you can age the tape if you want. And you can self oscillate. That's quite neat. So NewX have also made it so that if you put this repeat button up, You can also do those really cool self oscillating uh, repeats and stuff. So, still, I think the new X is punching. Now, on the Helix, we've actually got a space echo as well Cosmos Echo. Okay, and I'm going to set this time to 120. It is by default 120. So this is the thing like with the Helix, it's a little bit more controllable some of this stuff. We've got ramp speed when it turns on as well, but... So you hear... And we've got basically most of the same settings that we'd have on the... got bass and treble controls, feedback tone, we've got this splice which is not available on either of the other units so this is like a tape noise which if I turn this on get that tape artifact sound which happens um, every I think I measured it, it was like 42 seconds or something like that um, you've got dry through on or off as well so on or off um, so if we set the mix fairly high we can self oscillate Still, I think the new X is punching kind of above its weight a bit. So the pl the pluses of this, I guess, price. I quite like this little thing here when you're setting up the tones, but you know that's not going to be visible at all in my opinion when you're standing up if you're kind of above four foot tall um, got self oscillation yes yeah the reverb I think is a bit more useful than just the spring because we've got some longer
think that about covers it. Um, in my opinion, you're getting a really, really, really decent Space Echo emulation in the HX Stomp. I've not played the real thing, but to me that sounds like it. Doing, I think the kind of things that you're going to be wanting from this, you know, it sounds like a delay that's getting darker. You can set the the repeats and treble and all that. You can turn on or off the dry through, um, and yeah. So there are plenty of options in the Space Echo realm. Let me know in the comments if you've got favourites. These are just kind of three that I'm aware of. But if you've got a favourite Space Echo pedal out there, I'm sure other folks will be appreciative of you leaving them in the comments and letting us know your experiences. Strymon Volante is kind of in this realm. The plus with the Strymon is that you can actually pan the echo heads, um, which is, is neat, I think. You can't do that on any of these, but I don't think you could do it on the original Space Echo either, so that would make sense. Um, but yeah, you've got the new... But yeah, that's kind of my take on that. You've got three options there from... Uh, free if you've already got a helix to cheap uh and then the boss which is I guess the flagship the daddy of them all okay then the boss has presets and a bit more tweakability than the new X uh, a bit bigger as well but also you've got you know added functionality the helix one I really like as well personally MIDI in and MIDI out on both the new X and the Boss. So, yeah, I mean, you can get Space Echo tones at basically any price point. Let me know in the comments if you've got favourites. I think at a bare minimum, what you'd want is something that self oscillates and has kind of tape modulation, age tape modulation, and all of these can do that. So that's kind of cool. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you in another video soon.